the important important things. Um, see that right there? See that picture? See that picture? That's how you'll see a little little, little fountain coming off. That means you got air. Remove master cylinder. Well, of course, you got to remove the lines before you do anything, okay? Because it, it's hard to hold the master cylinder and try to undo these uh, uh, brake lines. What kind of wrench do you use to undo the brake lines? Line wrench. What? Uh, how? How is a line wrench different than a j just a regular open end? Okay, it's got more walls to hug around that, you know, uh, uh, nut on the brake line. That brake line nut is usually soft metal. If you round it off, man, it's going to be tough for you to take it off then. Okay? Has anybody done that already while I was gone? Yeah. Rounded off the brake lines? <laughs> you did? There you go. Okay, you just pry the reservoir most of the times. Most of the time, the, the reservoir is just, just held in with the grommets rubber grommets and the mass cylinder. Sometimes there's a little little pin, little little pin or a, or a bolt that you can undo. Okay? Installing reservoir, uh, uh, put the grommets on the reservoir and then push the mass cylinder on. We can do that. Everybody knows how to bench bleed a mass cylinder. Uh, um, there you go. Bl typical bleeding procedures. Okay, manual bleed is is the best bleeding procedure that I would suggest you. Uh, the reason I don't uh, show you any other uh, or emphasis more on any other type of bleeding is manual bleed can be done at any shop. Regardless of if they have equipment or not, not have equipment. And every, almost every shop has different kind of equipment to, to bleed the system if they're not going to do a manual bleed. Manual bleed, all you need is two people. One person pumping the brakes, the other person working the bleeder valve. That's all. Okay, and brake fluid. Make sure the brake fluid is in the reservoir while you're doing this. Okay, make sure the reservoir is full all the time. Okay. Uh, pressure bleeding suction. You can read that up on yourself, by yourself, basically. Okay. Uh, t a typical uh, bleeding procedure. You here's the master cylinder. Okay, this is the front and this is the rear. Right rear, the furthest away, typical rule of, rule of thumb, but always refer back to the manufacturer, how they want you to do, okay? The furthest away first, then you do the opposite, and then you go the furthest away, again, the, the second furthest away, and then you do the opposite. So basically, right rear, left front, left rear, right front, or some of them just say right, right front, then left rear, okay? It doesn't matter the second second step, but first step is crucial. You got to do the front, uh, the right rear, the furthest away from the mass cylinder first. Okay? Any questions? Okay. Flushing is replacement of the brake fluid. Oh, did we talk about how? I I, I know Charlie uh, Charles said that uh, um, every three years or uh, every two years or 24,000 miles. I say in East Texas weather, uh, uh, I say every year because. You know, that way you are sure that you have good brake fluid. And if you have good brake fluid, believe me or not, if you keep clean brake fluid in the system all the time, you will eliminate a lot of expensive hydraulic system fixes. No. If you do that, you probably never have any buildup behind the piston seals. They will never leak. Contamination is what makes the... Uh, uh, um, you know, uh, seals leak, okay, in the wheel cylinders and the calipers. So I'd say every year in this kind of weather, uh, if you live in a drier atmosphere, maybe two, two, two to three years is okay. But again, if you live in a cold, cold situation, I'd say replace it every year. It just, it's just to save every year replacement. Once a year, you know, once a year, 100, 110 bucks, man, that's, that's a deal, I would say. You know, if somebody's got an expensive car, they want to make sure they have good brakes, which brakes are kind of important sometimes, you know, to make sure, have, make sure they're working. That's how I would sell it to the customers, you know. If you educate the customers, you will make money. Tell them why you're doing it. Tell them why you're recommending it. Just don't tell them because it says in the manu uh, service manual. 
Well, they'll say, well, I don't want to do it. Yeah, tell them why, why you're doing it, okay? You're doing it. Was that? Yeah, exactly. And tell them, tell them that, tell them that you're doing it. Tell them that you're recommending it because you want them to be saved. That sells. That, that sells uh, by itself, you know. It, and to be honest with you, that's the way it's supposed to be. You're not sell, You're not. You're not supposed to sell something just because to make money. You're supposed to sell something to make sure you 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 gain their trust. If you have, if they have your trust. You know, if you have their trust, man, they'll be, they'll be your t- customer for the rest of their life. 